Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this. So this, what is this, you might ask? Well, this is the Tarantula power supply. So one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to add a standard power outlet. Uh, if you remember the unboxing I did, it comes with a two-prong bad idea. So I wanted to go with the three prongs I have ground. I wanted to add a switch. And I've seen a couple on Thingiverse, um, and I printed one out, totally didn't work, uh, so I, I decided to go my own route. So I wrote an open SCAD customizer, and I'll put the, the, the link will be below, uh, that will design these for various size power supplies. Now the way that this works is you measure the dimensions of the case and you enter the dimensions into the customizer and it will print you both ends and what happens is these ends slide out. Now this is pretty tight fit. I'm not going to try pulling these off to show you but just trust me they, they slip on there fairly tight. Now one of the things because this is a big surface area uh, of striated plastic what I do is I leave myself a little bit of extra room about anywhere from 0.2 maybe 0.3 millimeters total and what I do is I brush on epoxy inside of this and so it makes it a solid piece and then so I don't get um, uh, you know it doesn't want to pull apart especially as I'm kind of pushing this on because this is a tight friction fit as you can see I'm pulling pretty hard and just moved a little bit there um, you know same thing for this end they're, they're friction fit now I also got little bumpy feet on the bottom so it sits on table like this very nice and then I've also added a piece here on um, uh, you know, for, for different outlets. So by selecting um, in Customizer, you can either have a single hole where you can put a grommet where you can run the wire out, or you can have one banana jack or two banana jacks. Now, I've chosen to go the dual banana jack route because, uh, first off, I'll have one plugged into this for the printer, the actual tarantula plug into this, and then I've got another auxiliary port. There are three uh, 12 volt fold out sections in here. So here are two of them right here. The other thing I'm going to do is also probably mix up a clamp to go on top here which will go around here in Thingiverse or not Thingiverse and open SCAD and put it out on Thingiverse 2 for a 50 millimeter fan to go on top of here. Really unless you're using a lot it shouldn't be needed but I figured it'd be cool. And then um, you know the third uh, leg will power the 12 volt 50 millimeter fan. Uh, I'm also going to make it so you can put a 60 whatever size you want you'll just enter either your whole separation into the customizer and it'll create it for you but that's that's, that's a coming project probably by the time you see this um, that'll be out there so take a look and but anyways really happy with the way this came out and also this can do double duty as a benchtop power supply also. The other thing is, is I used common Amazon parts here, so uh, easy to get off Amazon. I'll put the link, the link will be below. Also be on the website DIY3DTech.com. So if you want to print this out, you know where to get the parts. And the customizer hole for this, well you can set it to any type size hole. The stock hole will be for this particular part. Um, I also did some interesting things inside to actually beef it up to receive this uh, piece because uh, let's talk a little bit about this for a second. So I really like this because it's got a switch, it's got a fuse, and it's got the grounded adapter. So all three in one package just slides in there. Now this is meant to go into a metal chassis. There are fingers in there that interlock, but they're very narrow fingers. I don't know if you can see in the camera um, the fingers in there, the, the bottom side of the fingers. Since, since there's not enough material, I've built out a, a cage inside here, and I'll probably show a little bit of the, the Tinkercad up in the corner. Uh, not Tinkercad, uh, OpenSCAD in the corner, working in too many applications. So you can kind of see it. The other thing you may have to do now, this is, this is pressure fit. I've got this really tight, and um, this is not epoxy or glued, and it, it, you could get it out if you took this out and really, but you'd probably break this piece. It's a one-way trip really going in. Uh, you can give yourself a little bit more room and glue it if you'd like. Um, I went the pressure fit, fit route, and uh, anyways, this, this worked out pretty good. So I'm really happy with the looks of this. It turned out really professional looking. It's a customizer. I've got a number of these power supplies for my diode laser cutter and a couple other things now that I'm going to make... Um, 
covers for too. So, hey, hopefully uh, you find this handy. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And uh, any questions, hit me in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.